Hello scientists and experimenters. And now making slime is great fun, but can you turn it into an experiment, make it scientific? Absolutely. But in order to do so, we will need a way to measure your slime so that you can compare your different slimes. Now, of course you could use words like it's cool or it's slimy or it's sparkly, but that's not really a quantitative or scientific way of measuring it. So here's a few things that you can do to actually measure something, get some numbers out of your slime. And these have all got to do with viscosity, which is quite a scientific word for how thick or runny your slime is. Because slime is pretty strange stuff. It's a little bit like a liquid and a little bit like a solid. It looks like a solid there because I can pick it up on a fork, but have a look what's happening. It's starting to drip and flow like a liquid. So it's sort of this weird place between a solid and a liquid. So that is what we're gonna do some measurements on. Now our first viscosity experiment is a flow rate down a ramp. So you can set up a ramp just like this one and you whack your slime at the top like that. And then you simply record how long it takes to get to the bottom. Obviously this one's gonna take a minute or two to get all the way down to the bottom. We don't have that long, but that's the idea. Measuring the flow rate down a ramp. If you've got a funnel like this, or you can make your own funnel, you can also measure what the time it takes for your slime to flow through a funnel. And it will actually flow through a funnel. It doesn't look like it's going to, but it will flow through a funnel. Get a set amount of, oh, there it goes, it's going already. A set amount of slime and see how long it takes to flow through the funnel. Another way to measure viscosity. And if that's not enough, I've got another one. Let's put our little funnel on that side. If you can find a tall, sort of skinny container like this to put your slime in, that can be the tricky part, getting it in there. Get something heavy, like a fishing sinker, and drop it in, and again, time how long it takes for that heavy object to make its way to the bottom. Oh, there it goes. It looks like it's gonna take a while, and I'm not going fishing anytime soon. But it is making its way to the bottom, which is cool. So there's three different quantitative or scientific ways of measuring things about your slime. Or of course, if you don't want to measure your slime and compare it, just have fun with it too.